Hey, welcome. Uh, this is Ready to Do It. We're here on Detonic Success. We haven't done this in a bit. We've had a crazy year, and I want to get up live, and we're going to talk about not using the F word, and it's not the F word in detailing. It's the F word of detailing, and so what that means. And so that word is, we're going to share it with you right now, is it's 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old. It's been used for probably over 50 years, maybe even a lot longer. And it's really, it's come back into play. And I think it's a really junior varsity word uh, to use in our industry and in our businesses. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, we've got kind of follow me through. He's got Oscar behind the camera right now. Becky's here. We also have got Rich is here. He's one of our interns. We've got some of the guys. Uh, we kind of shut down the training right now. We've got a five-day going. Uh, so we kind of want to walk through and talk a little bit about, you know, we talk so much about, products to use and pads to use and coatings and all this and that. But a lot of times we don't even talk about the language that we use is that we don't talk about history repeating itself with really, really bad habits. And that's using the word full detail within your business. It's the F word within detailing. And so we're going to ask, uh, we're going to take and, and share with you why I think it's a bad idea. And then also kind of how to combat it when you have people in the industry using that, especially locals, in your area, how to kind of beat up on that just a little bit and to set yourself aside from that. So a lot of people don't think about the language and there's a language of business and there's is, is detailing finally coming into our own. We're finally getting to be an industry of our own. We're finally getting recognized. And a lot of sophisticated people are coming in, but yet we still have people using very, very old terms that should have been dropped a long time ago. So uh, and, and again, we just shut down. The, the, the shop's a little messy. The guys are over here. Some of them are sitting here. They're catching up on some of their text messages. Uh, um, it's Blake really wanted to get on camera, right? He was really excited about it. <laughs> He's like, don't don't make me talk. Don't make me talk. And so we're just going to take and come on over. And we're going to have Austin come and join us. And so, you know, this is the business side. So this is the cabinets that we pull out of just on the exterior. This is just the exterior side of what we train on. And, and the reason why this is important is, is this one reason. I mean, look at the amount of compounds, look at the pads, look at the towels. Here's all of our micro tools in our three inch, right? And we got towers. If you come back over here, it's just, just right here is look at the amount of tools right there. And you come over and there's a whole nother tower over here is we've got every brand name, but you know, it's funny because a lot of, I'll say business owners, because I think there's a difference between business owners and entrepreneurs, is this is what they think about. And while this is really important, all these tools, all those beautiful products, all those beautiful pads, the thousands of dollars worth of towels, that's all really important. And when we're here training, these guys will say, hey, guys, how much do we tie this into talking about? And you just give me a uh, or no. How much of this training is all about business and bringing it back to the profit points? They're all waving their heads. Yeah. So it's, um, they're telling me they want to go to dinner because tonight's our dinner out, but you know, it's, it's, it's all important, but then I see things going out there, words that are coming back in terms like full detail, they're coming back into play. And so here's why I hate that. Then I'm going to take sure with you what to do about it and how to beat up on it. Why you really stop, you need to stop using it is when you get out there is that when I see the word full detail and most consumers look up the meaning, Webster's meaning of the word full. And a lot of times it means all inclusive, okay, all inclusive. And when you use all inclusive, a couple of things happen is that you take your sellability out. If you say, well, hey, you know, the headliner, for instance, we just got done doing interiors. We're going to finish up some paintwork, he, this thing that we're working on is just trashed, right? I don't even want to swing it back around and look at it. Um, but this is what we like to get in the trains because we can do so much work on them and show you the, the good, the bad, the ugly, the sanding, everything else. But when you say full, if you try to sell them on a headline, well, hold on, you just sold me a full detail. Wasn't that included? Or you have a scratch or you have paint chips and you're trying to upsell is it really takes your ability to upsell and flushes it down the toilet is it just puts you in a whole nother class and it takes your ability to, to bring a little more profit in off each customer. And then also it's a really unsophisticated term is that it's a horrible term. So what we designed, what, what I'm going to give you some answers, and then I'm going to give you some combative ways to go against this is that 
is is instead of that, come up with creative names. Now we've got, I, I think, um, Jessica. Jessica is just she's a, one of our our mafia members. She's a team member. Um, Travis, her husband, and her are really into airplanes, really into flying. They've owned airplanes. Um, their 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 final approach detail, and they do mainly automotive, and they do a, a lot of PPF. But yet their menus is it's economy, it's business class, and it's first class. Those are their packages you can buy. I think that's really smart because it's it's made for them. Is it it's their lifestyle? Egg. Okay, you look at the lifestyle that they're living with an aviation lifestyle. That's what actually brought them together. And then B, it's really super unique. Is it stands out in a market that's really loud with a bunch of people singing the same song of full detail. And so when you hear that and then you look at somebody that's unique, what's that do? Is that separates you from the rest of the herd? Is when you're using a term like full detail, the F word within detailing, is that it just brings you a commonality. You're common with everybody else out there. And I'll tell you, the last thing I want to do as an entrepreneur is, David, you're, you're, you know, you're a builder, right? You know, you're here with your son. You want to be common among, among other builders? No, hell no, right? Mom is broke. We're wealthy. And so you go out with, a, you know, ours, we're the, one of the first ones to go over to the stage or stage one, stage two, stage three. Is that overused? That's a lot. It's been, it's been used for many years, too. Uh, we went over to speed one, speed two, speed three. We've seen gear. We've seen all kinds of creative. What about just package one, package two, package three? Or name it after you. I've got one on our menu that was Rennie's favorite. Is just selling what you really like and then leaving room for upgrade. What if there's dog hair in it? They're going to say, well, hold on. Is, is when I bought it, it was a full, you saw the full detail package. Does that include getting all that dog hair out? What if it's got sand in it? What if it's got scratches and swirls? What if it's got swirls, but then as you start pulling those swirls back and, and unveil all what's going on, it's got a lot of scratches and you can't get those out. Is they're going to say, yeah, but you took and sold me a full package. Is It's it all inclusive. Listen, on a vacation, that works. But even if you go on a cruise ship, anybody that's gone on a cruise, you're going to learn, you're going to know right now that when you get taken by the full package, but just wait, there's more is they're going to sell you more. It's not all inclusive. It's an all inclusive resort at the level you buy. And so you've got to be really careful about using an F word. I think it's a really immature, easy to use term that everybody grabs out of the air and starts using it. And again, I don't mean any harm to anybody, but it's a really junior varsity way of going about it. And so how do you, how do you take and, and change that? Get creative. There's all kinds of ways. What's your passion? Who are you? What's your name? Um, you know, one of, I, I love a good cigar now and again, and there's a great cigar brand out there. I don't know if I should push them or not, but um, it's actually, it's Alec Bradley, Alec Bradley cigars, great cigar. And when Alec Bradley cigars came on, the founder was kind of beat up on They're like, <laughs> what's an Alec Bradley. And he was really, he came out of, Right out of the right out of the box, the cigar box, it was beating the big guys up. Right, this is back in the '90s, uh, early 2000s. He was beating everybody up, and I remember that the the competition was getting so angry because this guy was scoring so high and had grown wheels so quickly and growth so quickly that they started ragging on him. Well, that's one of the best things. There's an old saying: "Is talk about me good, talk about me bad, but for God's sake, keep talking about me." So Alec Bradley, I'll never forget this. I think it was a big cigar. They was smoking in Vegas. And somebody took a shot at him. And they said, hey, by the way, what kind of silly name is Alec Bradley? And he goes, oh, those are the names of my kids. Drop the mic. In the story right then and there. He's a passion brand. There's a lot of that out there. And so don't be afraid of personalized things. If you want to name them after your kids, I don't, I don't know if I want to name a dirty car or an exterior that's got swirls after my kids or wife. Uh, but you could definitely name it after a hobby, something that you love, or definitely something that fits into your lifestyle, or just get creative, you know, get creative on your own. Because I don't think there's a bad answer because when you believe in something, you're going to sell it. Now, people start making fun of you, good, because that means you're ahead of them. I'm going to make fun of somebody that's calling it a full damn detail because I think that's one of the most immature, old-fashioned things. I mean, let, let's go back. Detailing was made fun of, and still is to some degree, among those that just don't know. But on the other side, get in here. So this is my wife, you guys. She just walked in. So this is Diane. Uh, so we're going to introduce the whole team here in a second, but she's going to come in. So when Diane and I first started a business up, one of the things that we wanted to do was to really stand out. And so we 
we never, we never used, we couldn't understand anybody in our market that was calling it a full detail, the F word, right? And so we went out, we got really creative. We got creative with our, our, our logos. We got creative with our marketing. We stood out. We were really involved in our community, still are, but really involved in our community. Our kids were really involved. Is That's what we stood up for, but we stood out. And by taking and naming yourself something so common and so destructive, the other thing that I want to tell you that that, that happens is when you start seeing the industry go backwards, is that I don't like that. I've worked too hard to push this industry forwards. And then all of a sudden now we got people going back and naming things that we ignored 30 years ago, 40 years ago, that was made fun of and back to the future with Biff and his detailing company is because Biff himself that had, what did we notice on the, on the commercial? We looked that picture up. There's a something. Yeah. There's a, there's a squeegee, a window squeegee. And then there's something laying on the ground. Wasn't it a, like a chamois or something that laying on the ground? That's the image that comes up in my mind. And most of you guys are thinking, well, hold on, man, you're old, this and that. I'm probably your customer's age, your ideal customer's age. They're going to think that. So when you start pulling this shit, they're remove, they're remembering back to those times and they're relating your business to that. So now how do you remedy that? So come on in. So come on, we're going to get, we're going to get Becky and those guys in here because we're going to explain a little bit. So the shop, like I said, we're just, we're just, we got one more day left of a five day. Guys are working about 60, 70 hours. Um, it's been a great week. We got a hard day tomorrow. We're not even close to being done. We got a lot of great work to do tomorrow. And so this is kind of, if you, if you pan back, Oscar, we're going to get in Oscar here in a second. So let's get Oscar here in a second and switch off and have us a report. This is where we take care of business. We gather around this table. This is a huge, huge, Becky, you're going to be in here too, though. So come on in. So come on in. So we're going to have Rich come in and just kind of record for us. Becky, get in here. So this is our little team. This is our little family. Oh, look at him. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? He, got, he just comes in and he actually straightens his eyebrows up, man. Okay. So this is our team. So Oscar, introduce yourself. Um, Oscar Hernandez out of Ventura, California, owner and operator of 805 Detail Shop and also the Detail Mafia Coordinator sales and trainer for Stinger products. And so he's been involved with the, with the group since 2018. 18. Okay. Um, Diane, my wife, we just introduced you. She's been involved with since day one. Becky is our business development guru. So she, you're going to be dealing with her. If you want to call for information We that, Chris, Chris is in the background actually doing the producer. Say hi, Chris. Um, and so, you know, this okay. right here, it represents the business side of us. This is what we do on the business side of things. And so you see that we get up here on the whiteboard. This is the client experience. We, we, we put never project hardship. This is actually uh, a really good friend of ours that, that laid this out for us. Um, and his training was up here in training. And so we've kept this up here the whole time. And so it's, it's a great reminder of how to do. We go over all the sales process. So the thing, here's, here's the thing. Let's talk about this for a second. Is that when you are... Thinking about detailing, stop concentrating on the easy stuff. Calling something a full detail is an easy name. You've got to go out, recreate yourself, redevelop this. Listen, I've been there. I've been brand new. Uh, I started out broke. I started out in this industry nothing. I started out by trying to get my mom and grandma off of welfare. And so I understand taking uh, not real educated, special ed kid, uh, dyslexic, all these things that People say that are, are, you know, man, that was a setback. No, that was my launch point. Maybe you got those same things. Maybe you grabbed onto something that you call it that full detail in your, in your system. That's okay. But if you're going to grow, you're going to change it. Now, if people aren't going to change their industry, for those, listen up entrepreneurs. I just talked to the business owners. Now let's talk to the entrepreneurs. Look at, set doubt in the minds in your market. Is that repeat some of this message, spin it on your own. Develop a way to get out and bring your industry, your industry up, our industry up in your marketplace by combating this kind of nonsense is because these are the guys and gals that are going out, charging nothing for their details, driving prices down, and then they disappear in a few years. They're gone. We're not going to be gone. The entrepreneurs are going to be here long term. So should you be worried about them destroying your business? Absolutely not. Here's why you combat it. A, always stay above the, above the line. Never take cheap shots. Just go out there and say it like it is. Say, listen. The problem with a full detail, we don't believe in this, is because everything's got to be divided. Your car's going to have multiple needs, and we're going to fix those multiple needs. We're trained, certified, we're recognized, internationally recognized of your IDA, all these different upsides. But go through and, and say that's a very, very old term by somebody that's using it. It's very unsophisticated. Our company's fully insured. Our company's fully trained. Our company's dedicated to, 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 the, to the local area. We invest. We put deposits back into our local area. 
Uh, usually people that are using the term full detail is just taking withdrawals out. Now, maybe again, I'm going to defend you if you're there is maybe you're brand new and you just didn't know any better. There's no time to change like right now. Don't, don't, don't even think about taking and, and going on to tomorrow is a proper time to change is right now. Now, in the event that you really want to work on your business, not just your skill set, everything that we teach is Rich is holding the camera right now. We've got Oscar, you just spent our team. It's damn near one on one. There's four students here, just four. We're just about sold out for the entire for the rest of the year, is we're booking into 2025. We tie everything we do back to back to business and profits per hour. Because you're no good to your clients, you're no good to your market, you're no good to your family, you're no good to you unless you got longevity. We also teach that it's a marathon. And we teach you to take and be able to make a six-figure income. I don't care where you're at in the, in the country. It could take different times to get there. I'm not going to tell you you're going to get rich off this. You're not. You want to go out and get rich and, and get super wealthy. You can't do that, but it's going to take you 20, 30 years to do it. If you want to get rich quick, find a different, find a different industry. Seriously, just find a different industry. If you want to build a good life, you want to build a good time for your family, you want to enjoy the things that you that that you love in life, your hobbies, uh, your family, your time, your dogs, your horses, uh, anything else that you call important in your life, this might be the place for you. Now, we're not for everybody. We really are not. Is now, do we, the, a lot of people that we train are brand new, 50% of them are brand new. But the good news is 50% of them, some of them are 20-year veterans in the industry that are coming in to fine-tune themselves. So it doesn't matter where you're at. We just want to sharpen you up. We got a group, the Detail Mafia, that you're going to be able to have access to after that. That's going to be a, a decision. We're going to suggest that you join us. We'd love to have you join us. We do. We just got done with Air Force One. We went up to Monterey here in another couple of weeks. We went back to New York for Detailers Weekend. We go in power. We have a Mafia Day, an Education Day at SEMA. We show up. A lot of a lot of our detailers work SEMA, not just visit SEMA. I'm one of them. We'd love to meet you if you come out. But if you're ready to make a decision to change your business, and you're not going to, you don't want to be your average bear. You don't want to be your average Joe. We'll call us. So here's the number right there. It's 909-547-6789. You can call us anytime you want. That way you're controlling the, 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 the outcome of this. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a link after this. You can also e email me directly, Randy at Detailing Success. You're going to link after this to sign up for a call. If you're really interested in going to the next level, is that we're not for everybody. There is an investment to make. Once you get here, we pay for your hotel. We pick you up the airport. We feed you real good food while you're here. Um, you're here, you're working to work your butt off. It's not an easy week. Uh, it's not a lot of nonsense. Uh, it's all hands on 100%. We go over business, we sit down at that table, we talk on the whiteboards. Everything's tied back to family, lifestyle, and making money. That's all we really care about. If that's something that's important to you, it sounds good. Hey, we're excited to talk to you. Give us a call, get a hold of Becky. That number is going to be live. Uh, she'll call, you know, she, guys, she's, <laughs> she's got a family too. Uh, she's not going to take your call 24 7. But during business hours, when it's convenient for you, we're here for the long haul. So if you're not ready yet, listen, a year, two, three years down the road, we're not pushy because we want the right people. There's a gentleman here right now. Uh, he talked to us back in 2020. Here it is, 2024. Uh, he's just here. So if it takes you a little while to get here, that's okay, too. Uh, we're here when it's ready for you. We're It's going to be right when it's ready for you and when it's right for you. So, again, stop using the F word detailing. I hope this has helped you out. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. Turn this thing into a business, not just a hobby, and definitely don't slop it around because it's really important to a lot of us. Um, unless there's any questions, Chris, I'll come back to you, see if there's any live questions that we can answer uh, by chance, see if there's anything there. Well, most of it's been comments so far, but I'm looking for Q&A stuff if there's any. If you cool. guys do have a question, throw it in there as quick as you can. I'm not in a hurry, so we'll stick around for a couple minutes. And then also, hey, man, if you got questions, send it to us. You can send it directly to me, Renny at DetailingSuccess.com, uh, Becky at DetailingSuccess.com, Oscar at uh, DetailMafia.org. Uh, anything that we can help you with, just look, reach out. And Eduard, Ed, Eduardo just asked when the next course is. Um, I'll, I'll answer that one real quick. Eduardo, the next opening for the five-day training is uh, our dates in November which is actually the week before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is really late this year. Yeah, so we're we're booking into the last of this year is going to be November and December dates. Then it goes into uh, all of next year, 2025. And so with that, uh, is there anything else, Chris? Not in a hurry. If you got a question, pop it up there. Um, and again, kind of, we'll just kind of, Oscar's telling me, show you, this is our home, guys. This shop is, we've got over $300,000 of equipment in here. 
We've got every polisher known to mankind. We've got steamers up the yin yang. We've got some of the best extractor vacuums that you can use. Uh, we've got approximately 50 different tools, polishing tools in here. We've got about 700 products in all. Uh, naturally, we've got our my own line that uh, Rennie Doyle Double Black is about 20, 25% of what we use. Uh, the Rennie Doyle Dynabrake tool, again, about 25% of what we use. There's the whole rest of the world. This is a great village. Uh, you can, can turn back around, show them, show them the board. So this isn't even this year. These are some of the, 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 the people that, that sponsor us and support us in our efforts at Air Force One at our party every year at SEMA. And so we are literally Switzerland within the detailing industry is that we just like to take and be good with everybody. We try to bring every manufacturer in here and we try to use every great product that you can possibly use. We test a lot behind the curtain is probably 25 products that we're testing right now to bring into the training center. We put them through a lot of testing. You're going to be, you're going to be certified. Uh, there's going to, you're going to get about eight different certifications plus the opportunity to get your international detailers association certification while you're here. Uh, and then we could do about three different coatings while you're here. So you're, you got a lot of opportunity to join us when you're here. Uh, Chris, anything else? I'm going to end on one note. If not, uh, no actual questions. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah no questions yet. So always email me. I'm going to end it with this. I know that F word is kind of a hook to get you here. You think it's a sales pitch. It is. Uh, we definitely, it's, it's, we're, that's what I am. It's just like you. I'm an entrepreneur. And so, but here's the thing. I don't want anybody unless you're ready. Is that I want somebody that's ready to build a business. You've got to have the time to do it. You got to have the dedication, the heart, and you got to, have to be ready for an investment. And is it worth it? It's absolutely worth it. Go look at our, just go look at our, 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 our Google reviews. That's all you have to do is look at the Google reviews. We've got a wall, an absolute wall of testimonials that we're putting up right now. And so we really stand back behind what we do. And we hope to see the right people here. We've got spots for 48 people a year. Uh, and the mafia is some of my, some of the best people in the absolute world. They're good people. They're dedicated to the profession. The difference between us and other people is we're entrepreneurs is that we don't, we take this very, very seriously. Uh, but we were really about helping each other. Uh, and with that, we also don't stand for any BS either is that, you know, we're not emotionally tied into things um, is we're not going to, uh, we're not going to let people strip us down. We're not going to let people break other people down. We're not going to let people hurt the new people of the industry. We're all new at one time. We stand together uh, and we stand strong. So it's simple as that. So, hey, listen, I'm going to check out. I know your guys' time is valuable. Uh, if you have any questions, ready at detailingsuccess.com. And, and again, if you want to get on a call and a discovery call, learn more about us and you're serious about it, send me an email, Rennie at detailingsuccess.com. Our website's got our phone number. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Drop that full detail. The F word of detailing, it has no place. Get rid of it. Until then, happy to tell you all. We'll see you next time. Later.